In this video, we're going to be showing you how we created this um, little nurse design. And once you understand some of the basic functionality here in CorelDRAW, you can create things quite simply. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to show you here. So what we're going to do first is grab our basic shape tool, switch to our heart shape, go ahead and drag out a heart shape like so. And then we'll go ahead and fill it with red, and we'll right click to get rid of the outline. Now we need to make our little nurse cap. And the way we did that is simply grab an ellipse. We will go ahead and make a duplicate, switch over to our pick tool here, make a duplicate of it. We will grab our two point line tool, drag a line at an angle. We will then switch back to our pick tool and pick up one of those ellipses as well by holding the shift key and clicking on our ellipse. Grabbing this middle control handle and flipping it over, but as we do that, holding the control key, right click to make a duplicate. We're going to pick it up, go from center to center. Okay. Then what we're going to do is grab our paint bucket tool and just click in the middle there and that creates the piece of our nurse cap there. Then we're going to grab our two point line tool, make a line at an angle. Then we're going to take that line and our shape and do the same thing. We're going to flip it over with our control key pressed. Right click to make a duplicate and we'll go from center to center just like so. And then we'll grab our two point line tool and we'll make a horizontal line. We want to make sure that horizontal line crosses over those two so we have a solid area to fill with our paint bucket tool, our smart fill tool. And that is basically how we created our little nurse cap here. So now we need to create that little offset. So we're going to select our bottom part of our nurse cap, grab our contour tool, contour, right click, break apart, switch to our pick tool here, grab the top part of our hat by holding the shift key, and then we can trim that little gap right there. So that's how we created the gap. Now this top part of our hat is a little bit too small. So we'll double click on it. That moves us into our shape tool. And we're just going to pull these nodes straight up and make that top part of our hat a little bit taller. Then we're going to grab our rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle. We're going to switch to our pick tool, click on the rectangle. That gives us our rotation handles. Hold your control key down as you rotate. Right click to make a duplicate. Then we'll go ahead and select both shapes, weld them together. Give them a fill of red, right click to get rid of the outline. And now we have our little medical symbol, if you will. We're going to select that symbol and the top part of our hat. Hit the C key on our keyboard. That will center everything left to right. Then we can make this a little bit smaller. Hold the shift key down when you do that. And that will scale from the center of the object. Okay, so we have something like this. Now what we need to do is add our nurse part of the, the nurse text. And the way we did that was select the bottom part of our cap, grab our contour tool, we'll contour to the inside a little bit. Right click, break contour group apart, grab our text tool here, we'll type out the word nurse. Now the font that I use, and I use quite a bit, is the Adobe Carlson Pro Bold. I just like that font for some reason. Um, it cuts nice out of vinyl, depending on the size that you're cutting. But we have a nifty tool here in EasyStone to help us with this next part. And uh, if we go into the font uh, tab and go into Font Manager, we can choose Text to Envelope. And it's, it's asking us to, to select a shape and then hit the Escape key. And there is our word nurse, okay? So that's kind of a handy tool. I do want to back up and show you the Corel Draw way. It's, it's kind of similar. Um, so we're going to select our text. We're going to click on this button right here, which is our envelope tool. And then up here, there's an eyedropper tool. And then we can click on our shape. And you can see we get this kind of blue outline. And then we have to double click on the blue outline for that uh, text to take its shape. And then we have to take this and this and hit C and E to line it up. So you can see there's quite a few more clicks involved than doing it the easy stone way, but the end result is exactly the same. Okay, So it just takes a little bit longer to get there is all. 
So there is our nurse text, just like so. All right. So now what we can do is take our heart and our nurse text here and our nurse part of our design and just scale things to uh, you know fit one another like so. We're going to go ahead and group all of our nurse uh, hat pieces together because what I want to do is I want to line this up with our heart. So I'll hit the shift key and hit the C key on our keyboard to center it up. Then we're going to right click and ungroup all. So now all of our uh, nurse hat pieces are all separate. All right. So w the, w the worst of it is done now. And now what we need to do is we need to set this design up for proper trapping when you're doing a glitter design because the, the vendors of the glitter heat press material do not recommend a full overlap where you have glitter directly on top of glitter fully. So if we did this red heart full piece of glitter and then stick this top piece of our nurse cap right on top, they do not recommend that. So what we have to do is we have to create a special trap. So let me show you how we're going to do this. We'll start with our bottom piece. We'll go ahead and go to our contour tool, and we're going to contour one millimeter to the inside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right-click and break that contour group apart, and then we're going to select that purple contour piece. Yours may be a different color, but that's okay. Hold your shift key and click on your red heart and trim away. So where this purple piece intersects my heart, I've now cut a hole. Now if I delete my purple piece and I double click on my heart, see that little line right there? It's just a tiny, tiny bit of overlap. It's just one millimeter overlap. So we don't have to worry about the shirt color showing through between these two colors, but we also don't have a full overlap on our glitter. It's just that little area there um, that we created a little bit of a trap. Now, for the next part, our nurse text, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a hole in our green piece here. So we'll take our nurse text and shift click our green piece and hit trim. And then we can just delete this, this part of our nurse. So what we're seeing is we're going to see through to the shirt color. Okay, So that takes care of that. Now for this next part, things get a little bit trickier um, because there's a little bit more work involved. So what we're going to do here, it, you have to kind of understand a little bit, I guess, of, of how it all works. But I think the most simplest way to explain it is we're going to do a contour of the green piece of the hat. Okay, So let's start there, and we're going to do uh, one millimeter. So we we'll just we don't have to reset it to one millimeter because unless we change it, it's always going to be one millimeter um, because we already did a previous contour. So we're going to go ahead and do one millimeter to the inside. We're going to right click and break that contour group apart. Then what we're going to do is this piece of our this little medical symbol, we're going to do a contour to it too. So contour to the inside, right click, break apart. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take this contour of the medical symbol and we're going to cut a hole in the hat contour using the trim function. So now you can see there's a hole in that, in that piece of the hat, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to delete the contour of the medical symbol. Then we're going to take our purple piece, which is the contour of our hat and our heart, and trim it. And then we're going to delete our contour. You can see, so you see what we have here? Then this medical symbol that we created, we're going to delete it. Now, this is what I want you to pay attention to. When we delete this symbol, watch what happens to the artwork. You see? Now we have this, uh, because we removed it, remember our, our top piece of our hat was one solid piece. So what we need to do is we need to cut a hole in the top piece of our hat. So we'll go ahead and select our medical symbol in our hat and cut a hole using that same trim function. So if we look at our hat, you can see there's a hole in it. 
Now here's what I w wanted to point out to you. When I delete this medical symbol now, watch what happens to the artwork. You see what happens to the artwork? Now you can see that there's a bit of a gap here, which is not what we intended. Okay? And the reason I did this, I kind of did this deliberately, is to kind of just get you to thinking a little bit about artwork preparation. So if you remember what we did is we took the symbol and we contoured to the inside. And then we cut a hole in that purple piece. And what we should have done is contoured to the outside. So let me back up a few steps. And I don't know, I may have just thoroughly confused you. Um, and if I, if I did, well, then I apologize. <laughs> but let me back up here. See where we're at here. Um, all right. So remember we contoured one millimeter our hat. Okay, then the next thing we did is we actually contoured the medical symbol to the inside. And that's not what we wanted. We want to do a contour to the outside. So it's a little bit different setup. Let's change our color so we can see it. And then we're going to right click and break contour group apart. Then what we're going to do is take this contour piece and we're going to do the same thing we did previously. Trim the contour of our hat. Then we're going to delete this piece. We don't need that anymore. So now you can kind of see what we've got going on here. So now we're going to contour our heart shape with our purple piece of our hat contour. Delete that. And then we're going to take the medical symbol, cut a hole the same exact size into the to our top part of our nurse cap using the trim function. And now watch what happens. When I delete this symbol, there is no change. So there's the symbol. I delete it. Visibly there's no change, but here's what I want to point out. Watch what happens when I double click on my heart. Do you see we have that little bit of overlap, but then also around this symbol there's that little bit of overlap. So this is what it looks like now. So you see that? So we're going to lay down our red piece of glitter, and then we're going to lay down this is actually going to be, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's throw this, a weed box around it, and then you'll see better these pieces become white. Okay, so we're going to throw down our red glitter or our red heat press material, and then we're going to put on these two pieces on top. And because there's that little bit of trap, we won't have to worry about the color showing through, and we won't have glitter have a full overlay right on top of one another. So I, it's, a, it's a bit of a complicated um, thing to understand when you're first starting out um, and, and prepping your artwork, but if you kind of watch through the video two or three times, it'll probably sink in for you. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed uh, perhaps learning a little bit about how we go about creating artwork, but you can see even in this video demonstration where we kind of backed up and went forward and, and took the time to explain things. We only spent about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes on this design. So that's really powerful when you have an idea in your head and you want to sit down in front of the computer and knock it out. Um, having those design skills to be able to do what our customers are asking for uh, is really useful. So hopefully this video uh, you know, spurred you to give this little project a try because really it's, it's a real simple project. Um, that I think you'll enjoy uh, working with. And you'll probably learn a lot, too, um, if you've never done this type of work before. So give it a shot. And, and uh, you know, when you start out, you're going to have to watch the video a dozen times, maybe two dozen times. But once you get it, it's going to be super, super easy to produce artwork in the future. Thanks for watching.